It's 7 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. First off, it's not just a woman's weight that affects fertility. The doctor explains how a man's uh, size can affect family planning. We'll be right back. All right, this is interesting. What does your weight have to do with getting pregnant? Well, it turns out more than you might think. And we're not just talking about women. Having an overweight partner could also put you at a big disadvantage. And here to talk about it this morning is our good friend and fertility doctor, Dr. Mark Trollis from the IVF Center. Always great to see you, Doc. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. All right, so this is interesting. Why does being overweight have a negative impact on women and, and couples who are trying to get pregnant? Yeah, well, you know, the, the impact of weight uh, we've known for women for a while, and and staggering numbers, Amy. Uh, in this country, two thirds of women are overweight or obese, and men three uh, uh, seventy five percent. In reproductive age women, 50% are overweight, and it reduces pregnancy rates by about 50%. Why does it affect the women? It affects ovulation function, hormonal balance, the ability for the embryo to implant inside the uterus, but also pregnancy complications, mm. high blood pressure, diabetes, a miscarriage, even even birth defects. So, and, and but the other thing is, it's it's uh, for men that they may not be aware. Men start having uh, uh, decreasing abilities for, uh, to sustain an erection, and they have problems with sperm production because of the hormone imbalance. The, the uh, uh, body's fat cells are increasing estrogen, and it feeds back in the pituitary. So it's major problems for the man and the woman. And what about the health of the baby as well? Is that also an issue, something you have to be concerned about? Yes. D during pregnancy, if the woman is experiencing complications uh, like high blood pressure and diabetes, then baby has a higher risk of problems during the pregnancy as well. So, you know, it, it's really, uh, it, it's, a, it's such an impact on the couple. They're trying to conceive and sometimes they get sad and depressed and eating is a comfort food. So it's, it turns into a vicious cycle. Right. But we, we try to encourage them and let them know that ways to resolve the, the uh, um, weight problem when they come to see me Weight loss is not a punishment, it's a prescription to try right. to help their fertility. Is there an ideal weight or, or do you, it's just basically, it, it, when you talk about being overweight, because a lot of people don't even realize they're overweight or they don't see themselves as being overweight. Oh, amazing. You're absolutely right. Uh, of, of the uh, more than two thirds of people that are overweight, only a third actually feel that they're overweight. Right. Is there a way to try to help them with that? Well, it's a multi-disciplinary uh, uh, approach. Behavior modification. The American Heart Association is recommending just 30 minutes a day of cardiovascular exercise for about five days a week. And there is some weight loss medication, not, not good for pregnancy, but weight loss medication to get them started. Behavior modification is key, including it in your day. Three, most, three things that we all do. We all sleep, we all eat, and we all go to work. Yeah. Unless we hit the lottery, of course. We right? go to the bathroom okay. too, Doc. Don't forget right. that. The fourth thing that we have to do is weight loss. Right. I'm sorry, not weight loss. Exercise. Making it a part of your day, not making it an option. And that's important to do for general health, but certainly for pregnancy. All right. It's great advice. How can our viewers find you? Oh, the IVFcenter.com as well as uh, at Dr. Mark Charles uh, on Twitter. And he says he's working today, but uh, fertility never takes a day off. Fertility <laughs> never sleeps. It's true, Doctor. Always great to see you, Dr. Thank you.